Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading for July 2022. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is a general reading so it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading to get more specific details for your situation, you can find all that information in the description box. Also for this reading, the roles can be reversed because it is general. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on with you and another person in July 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so for the situation, we have the Seven of Pentacles crossed by the Knight of Pentacles. All right. Um... I feel like there's something, something in the works here. It feels almost like a plan or something just a plan, but it's moving really, really slowly. I feel like, you know, bit by bit it's being put together, but at a very, very slow pace. Um, let's see, for you, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's kind of like there's like something started, like something began coming together and it feels like it happened maybe really, really quickly or it's happening really, really quickly. Um, but then it's like it's also leaving you feeling like alone in, in a way. Um, let's see. We'll see more when we clarify. Um, for them, we have the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Okay, interesting. I feel like this person um, possibly has come off as a little bit detached, but this detachment is actually creating a lot of stress for them, a lot of anxiety, possibly even sleepless nights, a lot of worrying and thinking, thinking, thinking. However, it's interesting to me that, you know, even though you're feeling this sense of either being alone or maybe even you're feeling rejected, but it's like this person is wanting a reconciliation with you. So we'll see. Um, potential outcome, we have the emperor. Okay, that is really, really positive here because somebody is really stepping into their power, really taking control of things. So let's clarify and see what is happening here, Capricorn. Let's see that Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. All right, and we have the Moon. Okay, so Pisces energy, the Emperor again, and the Three of Cups again. Okay, yeah, see, so I feel like this emperor is actually the other person here, unless the roles are reversed, okay? So just take it as it resonates. Um, it feels like, yeah, things were being put together, things seem to be working out, but it's like it never got fulfilled. It never reached that end point where you feel like, okay, yes, you know, like this is, um, you know, we're together, or, you know, something is resolved, or, you know, something along those lines. It almost feels like there's this mysterious essence to it where it's like you don't really know where it's going. Almost like you can feel it, you can taste it. It's like it's almost there and then it just gets pulled away from you. Um, especially in terms of either coming back together or in terms of just being happy and just things being light and things being comfortable with this person. Let's see that page of pentacles in your energy. The four of cups and the page of wands. Yeah, it's like, it, it feels like to you, like, um, again, like it was just moving slower that, you know, you were giving to this, you were eager about it, and then there's this sense of disappointment. Either, again, it's almost like feeling rejected or feeling like 
why isn't this working out? <laughs> why isn't it moving forward? Why does it feel either so passive or just like an offer isn't being accepted or something along those lines? Before I continue with your energy, I actually want to see this Queen of Swords for them, which is right under your Page of Pentacles. Let's see the Queen of Swords for them. The Page of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, they're detached um, when it comes to communication. I feel like, you know, it's, it's interesting because they have like this deeper knowing about this connection and about you. Um, they have a deeper understanding and they do have clarity on what this connection is and, and on the fact that they do want this. They want that Three of Cups. I mean, it's showing up twice. But they're keeping quiet about it, right? High Priestess and the Moon. It's like they're not being very open about what it is that they know or what it is that they feel or how they perceive this connection. So I feel like that's why it's like you were giving to this, you were giving more to this and you ended up feeling disappointment because this, this person was kind of keeping quiet or being a little bit detached. All right, let's go back to your energy and let's see that fool. The Queen of Swords for you now and the Five of Swords. Okay, so it feels like you're trying to take some kind of action here where you're just kind of, I feel like you're almost like mirroring back to them their behavior. And it doesn't really represent how you feel though with that Five of Swords. It's almost like, I feel like, not that you're doing it for revenge or anything like that, um, I feel like it's more of a, like a self-defense mechanism or just trying to protect yourself even, or, or just trying to demand some kind of respect, more respect from this person. So it does feel like it's a little bit out of your nature to be behaving in whatever way that you are behaving, or if it's not a behavior, it's more of like an energy, like in the way that you are thinking. And it doesn't really represent how, how you are. Like it almost feels like it might be a little bit unauthentic. So that could be what's leading you to feeling this five of pentacles energy where you're feeling, you know, lonely or like something's missing because you're not expressing, you know, your truth. So let's see, Five of Pentacles. And we have Strength and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're, you're holding back. You're holding your emotions back. You're holding your emotions back and I feel like that, that might not be helping you. Like, I mean, for some of you, maybe you feel like you don't really have another choice. I don't know, maybe you do. Maybe you do. Maybe this is just you holding your emotions back from your own self for some of you rather than from the other person. I'm getting here. The message is that it's not helping you because it's um, it's just creating more of a sense of lack. And then it's more of like a rejection of your own feelings. So then it's kind of like you're rejecting your own self in a way. That's the message here. Um, so I feel like if, if that resonates for you or if it resonates for you in the upcoming future, you know, then the guidance here would be to just acknowledge your emotions for this person. If you cannot acknowledge them or express them to the other person, at least acknowledge them to your own self. Like, don't try to pretend to be in the same energy that they are in if you're not, because it's just, it's not authentic. And there's nothing wrong with how you feel. You have feelings for this person. You have feelings for this person. That's okay. They won't go away by just pretending that they're not there. Um, and then for others of you, you know, if this is a person that you can communicate your feelings to, there's nothing wrong with being authentic. Of course, you don't want to, you know, um, not be respectful to your own self. You know, don't do anything that's that would be compromising your integrity. But... Overall, you know, there's nothing wrong with being authentic. Okay, 
Let's see this Nine of Swords, which is in their energy. So Nine of Swords for them. The Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So this person wants to open up emotionally. That's the thing. That's why they're so stressed. That's why there's so much thinking. That's why there's so much worrying. Um, for some of them, they could even be worried that you might give your attention elsewhere since you're not getting as much attention from them <laughs> as you would want. So you might seek it out elsewhere. They're worried about that. Um, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, they're having a hard time really giving to you as much as you give to them. So it could be a fear um, that they have of this connection or of their own feelings. For some of them, um, let's see that three of cups, because it's like they want this connection or this reconnection. They want things to be happy with you. So let's see. <laughs> the Nine of Swords again and the Queen of Wands. I mean, they want you like no other. They really want this. They're seeing you as very, very desirable. They want this connection with you. But again, there's something here that is really stressing them out. So again, I feel like basically what's happening here is that things are coming together. It's just taking some time. It's like piece by piece by piece by piece you know, things kind of falling into place as this person is working out through whatever issues they have that is creating so much stress and worry. It could be that they're afraid of rejection. It could be that they're afraid of pain, um, you know, in the long run with you. It could be anything. But yeah, I do see that stress and worrying still being here, especially concerning a coming together with you, even though they do want it. But that emperor, though, is giving us hope here for the potential outcome. So let's see. Let's see the emperor. The seven of wands, the nine of wands, and the eight of cups. Okay, yeah, it is a bit of a challenge for them. I do see them, there's, it's like there's this sense of them trying to protect themselves. So I feel like they're in some kind of um, um, self-defense mechanism mode here. But again, it does still feel like things are moving forward. There might be something that they need to move away from, like something else, like something that they need to let go of. And that could be a fear. That could be, you know, just overthinking this and stressing themselves out for no reason, making it more difficult than what it needs to be. So I do see them moving in the direction of releasing that. But again, it's, there's a little bit of resistance, so it's happening a little bit gradually. So... It's there though. They are stepping into that emperor energy. So then it's up to you, you know, um, how you want to deal with this. Definitely the message for you is to at least not ignore your, your own feelings. Be authentic at least to your own self about this. All right, Capricorn, let's see if this resonated. Please do give me a like and let's get the final message for you. And we have lessons. Yeah, this is definitely a very deep connection here. I feel like there's a lot of lessons that are meant to be learned by the both of you through the challenging aspects of this. So just allow it to be, you know, things are falling into place. Things are happening in the way that they should for a higher purpose here. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.